Freddy, his best friend Sigdrun, and several Norwegian sailors are forced to serve for the Allies since they are stranded in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The sailors' lives are always in risk as they attempt to return to their families because they were never requested to take part in this conflict. The role that particular sailors and civilians performed in a conflict of enormous scope is described in War Sailor in a raw and moving manner. The show looks into the war's aftermath and examines the anguish that the survivors experienced. If you're curious how things turn out for Freddy and his family. Spoilers ahead. The Norwegian city of Bergen is the setting for the 1939 drama War Sailor, which centers on Freddy Garns, a father of three. He decides to work as a cook for an 18-month period on a Norwegian commercial ship, despite his family's objections, because he is having trouble finding employment. He travels with his close buddy and fellow sailor, Sigdrun. The two set out for the New York coasts with assurances of safe returns. Unfortunately, their preparations are derailed when German soldiers invade Norway a few months later. Under the king's order, all Norwegian ships are taken over and sent sailing for the Allies. Together with other members of the Frostneck ship's crew like Hannah, Axel, and Brothen, Freddy and Sigdrun depart for Liverpool. A few months later, the Germans attack the Frostneck ship, leading to its wreckage. Freddy and Sigdrun, among other survivors from that ship, dock on Matla and are immediately met with an air raid by the German forces. Two years later, in New York, Freddy and his crew are assigned a trip to Munmisk. Their new journey statistically promises a fatality for their vessel, and the crew finally decides to take action. They figure out a way to get young sailors Hannah and Axel ashore, and later plan their own escape. However, Hannah and Axel's freedom is not so easily bought, and they end up returning back to the ship. Freddy realizing he can't leave now, in good conscience, decides to stay back. Sigjorn stays behind with him, and they sail for Munmisk. As expected, the Germans torpedo their ship, killing several people. Along with another crew member and Axel, Freddy and Sigdrun miraculously survive the shipwreck. The two are rescued by an allied ship after spending days at sea fighting off wounds and other demons. In a Canadian hospital, Freddy and Sigdrun are given food, lodging, and medication. Meanwhile, the Brits began bombing Bergen in German-occupied Norway. Despite imminent bombing threats, Cecilia, Freddy's wife, and their children do their best to live. But after a horrific second blast in their city, Freddy learns the heartbreaking news that his wife and three children have died. Traumatized and emotionally destitute, Freddy flees from the hospital and leaves behind Sigjorn. A couple of years later, Sigjorn knocks on a house in Escoy and finds Freddy's family alive and well. His family had also presumed Freddy dead. The Garners have moved on with their lives, and in their presence, Sigjorn finds himself doing so as well. But soon, word of Freddy's survival reaches him, and he leaves at once to get his friend back. Though the war is over now, it has brought so much change in Freddy that he quickly realizes things can never be the same again. Do Freddy and his family reunite? Freddy ends up in a hospital in Halifax, Canada after his terrifying cyclical voyage at sea. There, Freddy receives medical attention along with his companion Sigdrun. After beating a man who reminds him of a friend, Freddy exhibits an uncommonly violent streak, demonstrating how much his experiences have affected him. When he learns of the attack in Bergen, his condition worsens much more. Because of how vicious the attack had been, there were either few or no remains of the victims. Even though no remains are discovered, Freddy's family is declared dead as a result. Freddy leaves the hospital after hearing the news. Similar to Freddy, his family stays in Bergen throughout his maritime voyage. Since she hasn't heard from Freddy since the war began, Cecilia starts working as a woodcutter to make ends meet. The first British bomb fell in Bergen, which was under German occupation, on October 4, 1944. With Maggie, his daughter, barely escaping the bombing of her school, Freddy's family survives the onslaught. But, Freddy's family is informed shortly after about the MS Falconger's disaster and his alleged demise. Only a few days prior to the second attack, the family departs for ASCII and escapes with their lives. They relocate there and begin a new life at the late Uncle Tostain's home. Similar to Freddy, his family stays in Bergen throughout his maritime voyage. Much has changed since Freddy first left years ago. 
His youngest child doesn't even recognize him, and there is tension in the family. However, in the end, they still find their way back to each other.